NASCAR's first ever Chicago street race began with excited anticipation. I'm living the dream as American hero. Get no better place, no better, no better day, no better city. This is it. 50,000 fans came from California to New York and every state in between. So I'm, I'm all the way up there. I'm highly excited. I'm a big NASCAR fan, Chase Elliott. Drivers traversed Chicago's downtown streets, transformed into a race course with 12 turns, eight of them at sharp 90 degree angles. Definitely treacherous on, you know, one mistake and you will hop too much and you're gonna be in the fence. Engines boomed and race fans swooned. All right, this is my first NASCAR race. Then the first of two races, a 175 kilometer circuit on Saturday, was stopped in progress due to lightning. Sunday began with what the National Weather Service called life-threatening flash flood conditions. Unfortunate day that it's, it's super rainy and foggy, but uh, I think we're going to wait it out. And they did wait for hours. On Sunday, NASCAR called the unfinished Saturday race for Cole Custer, who was in the lead when it was stopped. Two concerts were canceled for rain, but as they say, the show must go on, and it did. Go NASCAR! Fans who'd given up rushed back to Grant Park to watch the on-again, off-again race. The adversity and everything else that they have is the smartest thing they've ever done as far as I'm concerned because you have people that didn't even know about the sport and now they do. And it's Chicago. And you're excited about it? Oh, absolutely. Despite the delays and event cancellations, city leaders hope the biggest winner of the weekend is Chicago with an estimated economic impact of $113 million and a few newly paved streets. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.